So you want to start a charcuterie board, box, cone, grazing table business, and you don't really know where to start? Welcome to my YouTube channel, where I will give you all the tips, tricks, and advice on how to get started. I'm Sophia Dodola, founder of All of the Nectar and the Graze Academy, and I'm so happy you stumbled across this video. Please go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I have it all linked in the description below. So today I'm going to give you two things that you can do to get moving in the right direction. They're very simple, actionable items and let's get to it. Now the first thing that you want to do to get started is find a business name that you like and that is available. I recommend having all of your handles for social media. This includes TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Facebook, all of them cohesive. You want them to match. You really want to brand yourself that way. And then also with your website. Sometimes your handle will not be available and that's okay if it is available on a different platform and not on another one. But just ideally, if you can get all of those handles, that would be great. Now I'm not saying that your business needs to be on all of those platforms. That's another story of which platforms are most beneficial for you in this industry. And we can talk about that later. Okay. So once you have your business name and your Instagram page all ready to go, it's time to build content and collaborations. So first let's talk about content. You're going to want to head to the grocery store or the farmer's market and pick up your charcuterie basics. This is, two to three meats, two to three cheeses, dried fruit, fresh fruit, some veggies, a dip, whether that's hummus or jam, you can do honey, honeycomb, and then you're also gonna want some chocolate, salted nuts, things like that. Go find those, don't forget your crackers, and then come home and let that be your lunch, your dinner, and just play around by making a board or a flat lay. And you're going to want to take photos. So I don't recommend doing this in the evening. If you can and you work in the daytimes, then I would recommend doing it on a weekend or on a day off so that you can really take advantage of natural lighting. When it's dark and you're taking cell phone photos, it might not work in your favor unless you're really, really using like a ton of lights and you're brightening the photo. So that's a little, a little note, get a ring light if you have to do it at night. Okay. Then you're going to want to take those photos and you're going to want to post them. Basically, I want you guys to post these photos on your Instagram account and just describe it. Like this is a Valentine's day board, or you don't even have to insinuate that you are doing a business. These can just kind of look as hobby boards or hobby tables. And then how do you build an audience? Well, if you're brand new to Instagram, I would recommend start reaching out to people in your local area. So you can use the geo tag and find people in, if you're in Brooklyn or if you're in Canada, look up local people near you. The people I think you want to focus on are potential clients such as influencers. These could be corporations event planners, brides, things like that. And then vendors that you're going to want to collaborate with are photographers, florists, event planners, wedding planners, and any other vendor you can think of. So keep posting and getting momentum and meeting new people via social media. And then when you're ready for that next step and you're ready to sell, well, join me in the board to business blueprint because we can help take that Instagram account to profit. And there's a ton of little steps that you need to do in order to make this legal, profitable, marketable, edible. So check out board to business blueprint. We cover everything from marketing to prepping, to working with influencers, what you need on an invoice. I even will give you my service agreement that I use and my contract that I use. So you guys get so many goodies and it's a quick, easy course that you can take and it's not overwhelming. And when questions come up, that's exactly what the members only Facebook group is for. All of these questions have been asked before, so you can ask your own, or you can look down in the thread below in the group and just be, have your mind blown by this community. It's incredible. So I hope to see you guys in the course soon and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.